the Aquites, yeah, I don't, I want them, no matter how how they, you know, charge me, but I, I will use them the day of my wedding. If, if I ever like like got a wedding day, you're wearing the Aqua Eights at your wedding, definitely. Yo, what's going on, guys? Speedy Mormon here, coming at you from quarantine, and right now I'm joined by Mike Towers. Mike, what's going on, man? How are you? Oh, you know, bro, staying home this quarantine, bro. We gotta follow the code, bro. A home chilling. So with you, bro. Good man, I'm good. I'm I'm doing the same thing that you're doing. I'm at the crib too, so I haven't been outside in days. Uh, where are you calling from right now? Are you in Puerto Rico or are you somewhere else? Yeah, I'm in Puerto Rico. Yeah, my my apartment in Puerto Rico. What is Rico. it like out there right now? Is it is it really quiet? It, what, what's the energy like? You know, people people are still around at, at the day, but when it's time to go home, you know, everybody is following the the the, the rules. You know, this is is sad what is what is happening in the world right now when you see the, the you know the the news and everything so you gotta stay home i'm i, I'm, I do not want want to watch all that you know because it gets in my my mind so just watching netflix and, and youtube you know yeah what what have you been doing to pass the time you've been watching a lot of tv or or, or what have you been doing I, I've, I've been spending my time with, with my baby you know my kid um I, I was a little bit glad that that this was happening, you know, like staying home. Not what is happening with the coronavirus, but staying home. My my kid has like that connection with me right now. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm I'm like enjoying my time with with my family. Yeah, especially you got a a, a newborn, so you know you got to you get to spend some extra time with him. Yes, I'm every, every time like like laughing because because he ha he has like like it's too little to to be doing the things that that he he's doing, you know. He wants to, to, he only has like three months and he wanna, wanna walk. You know what I'm saying? He, he doing his step, oh, 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 you know, I'm holding him, but he, he thinks he's a grown Yeah, up. he's gonna be rapping in no time. Let's see, let's yeah. see. All right, Mike, so this is your first time on Complex. Um, so I wanna make sure that we give yeah. you a, a proper introduction to the people. For those who don't know who Mike Towers is, uh, how would you explain yourself? Who are you? I'm just uh, like, a little, a little kid. I'm a kid from, from Puerto Rico. I'm, I'm just uh, following my dream. I, I, I wanted to, to be, become a legend, you know, in, in, in the music. Everybody knows me about because of my music. So, you know, I started rapping in like late 2013. So it's been like, like a history in, in my, my career. You know, it's not from, from, from nine to, to uh, from, from, one day to another, you know, it's it's, it's a a process. So, I, I, whoever doesn't know me, you know, like like look for my music and and ask some some Latin people, because my I'm, I'm getting bigger every time. I'm spending my time also recording in my house, so you know, I gotta make the home studio over here. I, this is my room for for like. When I gonna get dressed, I come over here and, and I get my sneakers, I get my, my clothing, you know, everything. And, and over here, I, I record my music, so, you know, I have the muse on. Word. So, so you started rapping in late 2013. How old were you at that time? That's, that's, that's not that. 19. I was 19 year old. So you started rapping at 19, 19 years old. That's kind of late. And, and look how much success you've had in such a short period of time. I always have like, like love for, for music, you know, like respect for music. And that's why it like, it was like familiarizing with, with music already. So that's why I'm not like, like nervous and nothing like that. I just, I just went like, I'm gonna do it by myself, fuck it. And start rapping. Do you have musicians in the family, or, or is music something that you know you kind of grew up on, or what made you kind of lean towards music? My grandmother, like, she collects a lot of music. She likes to, to sing, so I, I, she was like the first one to introduce me to, to the music like that. And all my my uncles, my family is like a music family. You know, they love music and they collect all type of, of music. You know, salsa, merengue, bolero, a lot of music from from the Latin Latin world obviously you're you're in a hip-hop artist and you know we've seen you sample artists like 50 cent and you say that Jay-Z is your favorite rapper what kind of artists do you remember listening to growing up while in Puerto Rico like growing up my my father used to have like Sean Paul uh, album so so 
I always like from from kid. I was listening to to Jean Paul. I was listening to Yaro. I was listening like like many of of them. When I got like 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 more conscious, you know, like like I went bigger. I, I my favorite was Lil Wayne, but the old Wayne, you know, yeah. like like before before Lollipop and all all, all all them songs. He was my favorite, so I always like had this love for for the hip hop. And I wasn't understanding the, the the lyrics like that, but you know what? At the time, I started like listening, listening, spending time listening hip hop music, and I fall in love with with it. Where Mike? Why do you spell your name with a Y? It, it was like 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 with the I at the beginning, but they started calling me like the Young King, and then then I started using the YK, and, and one time I I wrote my name. With the Y, we're like yo, it's the same. So let's use it, and, and I like change my flow. You know, like I do a, an evolution when when I change my my letter, and people like like got used to it. They like there are two mics. When I use the the mic with the I, they know I'm rapping like like in my beginnings. But when I use it with the Y, you know, it's like some some Billboard records. Where so you so you kind of have two different mics. You can go one way with the more rapping, and you can go another way for the hits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why my I you know my my album is out Easy Money Baby, but the album that I'm working right now it has to be like with, with, with that with the old mic and the new mic together. I like that. The album Easy Money Baby it, it came out a couple uh, a couple months ago at this point, but Easy Money Baby is a, a saying that you've been saying for a while. What does that mean, Easy Money Baby? Yeah, Easy Money Baby is when when you you get to your goal, you know, when, when something you achieve something and you make it look easy. So it's not like easy money because you know to get this money is hard. You gotta work and everything. But when 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 you get to it, you don't even like like suffer the the hard work you 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 put on you put in. You know, you enjoy what you're doing, and that's why. Always, you, you can ask the people that is around me. I'm always saying that when something like I get to do something good. Yeah, easy money. I like that. Tell me about the next project that you're working on. My next project, bro, is like bringing my beginnings, you know, with combining with, with, with what is in the game right now. You know, the sound in hip hop, it is like like technology. So I'm trying I'm trying to, to make the hip hop artist like respect us, the Latin artists. So they do it, you know. But I bet you they they won't tell you like, oh, this is my tower. This is this one. This is the other one. You know. I want them like when they see me in the in the games, in the NBA games. You know, hopefully they recognize me. You know, they they salute me. You know, give me my respect. So that's what I'm looking with the the another project. Yeah, I mean, you 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 definitely earn the respect in in the Latin world, right? You're you're one of the most hot artists right now. Um, but we haven't seen you, at least I don't think we haven't seen you yet collab with any American hip hop artists. Is that something that you would like to do? Or do you kind of want to stay on the on the Latin side in terms of collaborations? I wanna, I wanna like get bigger. Uh, and I know that I have work to, you know, I do not think like I'm the hottest one right now. I think that I'm in the last one, the last, the last position, you know, but it's not like that, you know, but I, I think inside of me like that, so, so I can put that work. Right after this interview, I'm going to start recording, so, you know, I'm always making music. And I'm, I will be like, like, I, I don't I don't know how to explain my feeling when I do like a collab with, with something, somebody with the, in the hip hop, you know, scene. But I want to like, like, when I do it, like, at, at least, a couple of bars in English, you know. I want to connect, really connect with with the with, the, with that market. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. A lot of times we see uh, Latin artists com uh, collab with American artists, but they don't speak English, right? Like Jay Balvin, for example, he collabs with American artists all the time, but he he never speaks in English. What makes you want to do that? You know, it's like people from from my side, from Spanish, they gonna recognize you, but. I want to speak to your people too, you know what I'm saying, like, they can tell, oh, he got bars in Spanish and in English too, bro, he, he, he got it, so I'm trying to work on that, hopefully, 
I I received like two days ago a, a, a DM from Mitch the Kid. So you know I'm I'm doing my thing, you know. Hopefully I'm gonna do it with big artists, so you never know. Where so Rich the Kid hit you up on Instagram? Have you had any other American hip hop artists hit you up? It's not like that, but I saw in the in the the NBA All Star game I saw Offset he was in like like beside me and he was like, Yo, Seth, what's up? You know he saw me like but when I told him, no, I'm from Puerto Rico, my towers, he look at me and, and give me her hand. He, you know, he salute me. So I, I like that. And I know he he probably doesn't know who I am, but I bet you when, when he look like a video or something, he's gonna tell, oh, that nigga give me my respect in the NBA game. So, you know, he gonna have me in my mind. And he, he will give me my respect and, and the music that we we hopefully create, it will be like like organic. You know what I'm saying? Like real, real music. It's not like only business. No, that's real. That's real. I mean, you're starting to see uh, a lot of Latin artists kind of cross over completely into the American market, especially in the hip hop realm, right? Guys like Anuel, you see making songs with, yeah, with hip hop artists all yeah. the time, and he sits courtside at NBA All Star Weekend. I saw him there this year. He's like. We all won. That's why the message that I, that I want to send to the music people. Right. That's real. Now, I know that you named your son after Jay-Z, your favorite rapper. Yes, and, sure. and, and, and your name is Michael Anthony, which is close to Mark Anthony. Um, what made you yeah. want to name your son after Hold? He inspired me my whole life, you know, since I listened to his music and I saw my mentors. You know, I, I always wanted to know like the inspiration of my mentor so you know what I'm saying like I always want to know like what music Jordan listen what music my weather listen you know so I always like do the same thing that they do so when I when I when you, we talk about JC you know the day that I that I give my hands to him you know washing my hand no matter what you know what I'm saying like he's a big inspira inspiration for me and his name is Sean Lucas. You know, it's like Sean Carter and Frank Lucas. I like to to like combine that world. You know, yeah. I always have love for for the music on the street. You know what I'm saying? That's that's two two OGs right there, Frank Lucas and Sean Carter. Yeah, I, I have love for for New York. So you know, something special. When when my kid grew up, I'm gonna talk to him about those two. You know. Yeah, for sure. Now, New York shows you a lot of love. Do you spend much time out here? I don't know if you've ever been uptown to like Dykeman, but but they love you out here in New York. I've been over there, you know, when you gotta like connect to, to what's happening, like in real time, you gotta go to, to New York. You know, New York is, is the muse. Where the muse at? Now, look, yo, just, just, just checking your Instagram, you know, one, one look through your Instagram and I can see that sneakers are, are a big thing to you. And, and from what I understand, you got a couple pairs yeah. of kicks that you want to show us today. S some shoes that you keep in the rotation, is that right? Yeah, they're like like the most half for me. You know what I'm saying? Like I could be living everywhere in Hawaii, but I gotta have them, you know, no matter yeah. what. Is, is sneakers something that you've always been into since you were a kid? Always, always. Since you tell me, since I was a kid, you know, I, I was playing basketball when I was little, so. You know the sneakers gotta have you gotta have some dope sneakers i remember them my greatest the iverson not only jordan you know i like sneakers like in general was it difficult to get sneakers growing up in puerto rico do they have a lot of stores there or no, they, they have they have you know before every before the hype came you know full logger he has everything and it was like easy you know so after the the 11 concord Everything went, you know, crazy, and they still like that, like have some stores you can have it. And me, I, I, I was going to New York, I was going to Miami, I, you know, I, I, I fly. So whenever I see a sneaker store, I'm oh, stop here, and I, I grab my, my, my thing. Word. All right. Well, what, what shoes you got to show us today? Let's see them. Well, we, we gotta start with. I have love for for the Air Force, so let's see. Always have like a clean square of, of the white airport. 
You're the, the Supreme one, but... Oh, yeah. Why the know, Air Force got, One? Classics. I got the, the you know, the old whites, the, the original over there, but... But it's complex, so you got to show the Supreme ones. It's only right. Black, too, you know, you got you to gotta yeah, have the... every flavor, every flavor. I got to have this. I only need the, 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 the cool oh, braids. So. Okay, hold on. So we got the Concords, the Space Jams, the Columbias, and the Reds. The Reds, yeah. I have a couple of them, but... You know, they're like the Yeet or something like that. They're like new colors, so I got respect for new colors, but I like the OGs. You know yeah, you like the OG colorways, of course. Do you must. always wear them, or are you the type of guy who gets a nice pair of shoes and doesn't wear them? I wear them. No matter what, you know, I got to be in the stage with the fire on feet, so I wear them. You have the... Okay, white cement threes, black cement threes, classic. Must have. Must have. Yeah, every Plus sneaker every collector three. has to have at least one of those shoes right there. I got the OVOs, the 10s, both of them. Oh yeah, the black and the white OVO 10s. Damn, shout out to Drake. Yeah. How did you get those? One of them, it was a, a like a gift from, from, from my friend. He was like, yo, I know you, you fuck with, with Drake and, and you like Jordan. So when he gave it to me, it was like, yo, what the fuck, man? And the other one I buy from, from somebody that have have them like DS and I was like, how much you want for them? Man? And I bet he, he he didn't know what what sneakers they were because you know he was like yo, me two fifty something no like way. that. No way, no like, way. I gotta have this. This is I love Air Force, but I have like love for this one. I use it one time in, in the art. These are the the Lomios. Oh yeah, De La Mio, Air Force One. Yeah. Shout out to Dykeman. Yeah. Yeah, all, all the the Dominicans in New York. All the yeah, I've seen so many Dominicans in New York with that pair of shoes right there. It's a it's a it's an homage to them. Yeah, I, I that's why it's like uh, one of my special joints in, in the Air Force, and I, I only use it one time for a show in the art. I have these two. These are the the 14s. Supreme, Supreme you know, 14. Like yeah. Those just came out last year. Yeah, but you know they look. That's what I'm saying. I, I have respect for for new colorways and all that, but I gotta, you, know, you gotta bring the the OGs to the table. Okay, Air Max ones. Yeah, I gotta got a couple. Of them, Atmo, are those the Atmos Air Air, uh, Air Max ones? The Safari. Safari, ones. yeah, Safari. Air Max ones, yeah, classic. Yo, how many pairs of shoes do you have? I have a couple of them, but you know, I don't, I don't really count them like that because it's been like a, a couple of years and I have like in my mother's house, my grandma's just house, all over the place. my girlfriend's house. Yeah, 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 I'm like, like, I just still, I just move in here like a couple of months, so I'm still like, gotta bring every, every pair of shoes and I'm moving, so that's why I'm, I don't wanna like have a lot of stuff in here. Yeah. But I got a couple of them. I got, wait, wait for me. I'm waiting, let's do it. You, you're showing some heat right now, so let's do it. I got the Virgil. The oh, the five. Off-White Fives? Shout out yeah. to Virgil. Yo, how are you getting all of these shoes, bro? Oh, I, I got like like a couple of friends that, that have like boutique. Shout out Dracula, shout out Wilson Stop. You know, they, they one from, from New York. You, you must know who's Dracula is. He's, he's one of the sneaker kings and, and W Stuff is one of my mans in, in Puerto Rico that, that you know, well, are my hate. UNC3. Yeah, I, I want, I'm looking for them with the, you know, with the, another logo. With the North Carolina logo? Carolina one, yeah. yeah. Now those so, are tough. Tough this. Those are tough. I got, I got a couple more joints, you know, I could be over here like showing you a couple hit. But you know, I got I got love for for the sneaker game, and you always gonna see me with at least a clean pair of, of forces, you know, because I don't always want to use my heat, but I I always wanna like watch yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, you don't always want to step out with the fire, but a, a nice pair of white on white uptowns never you can never go wrong. You know what I'm saying? I got I got I got a couple of hits, so you you gonna see me in, in my performance and everything that like using in them. What would you say is your favorite pair of sneakers of all time? Favorite, really, really, really my favorite, the one that I could be living my whole life with it, this one. The the white bro. cement threes. I could be like like my whole my whole life with these two pairs. At night, 
No, with the black. And then the time with the, the white. <laughs> nah, I feel like. Now, Jay, Jay Balvin is the first Latin artist. He's having his own Jordan 1. Is that something that you would like to do? Of course, and I, I would like to have that one pair. So, Balvin, when you see this, you gotta hook me up. But definitely, bro, I wanna be like, like one of the, the artists that, that could sign to, to the Nike or, or Jordan. You, you, you never know what brand, but it will be like dope for, for, for just the culture, you know, not only for me. To, to do something like that with one brand. For sure, the person the person that we interviewed before you was Jay Balvin. So if you want, we could probably put the ask out and, and maybe have him send a pair of shoes your way. I, I like, I sometimes I, I be texting him, you know, he texts me, I got his number, so I gotta do my, my you know, my thing. I gotta have one pair. I love it. I love the, the Jordan. I got like, I haven't shown you my, my Jordan 1 collection, but I got I got a couple of them. So I love the, you know the Jordan 1s. You have them. You gotta have gotta them. Have. Most yeah, have I have. Them. I have almost every color yeah. in my closet, so I know the deal. The Jordan one is classic. My, my favorite, my favorite pair of Jordans. I don't even have it right now. It's the the aqua whites. Yeah, I don't. I want them, no matter how how they you know charge me, but I, I will use them the day of my wedding. If, if I ever like like got a wedding day. You're wearing the aqua eights at your wedding. Definitely. <laughs> I like that. What's the most you've ever paid for one pair of sneakers? Like that, like like a thousand. You know, I'm not I'm not that that crazy. I I've, I've been paying more for for designer sneakers than than Jays and, and Nikes. You know, but I I respect money. You know, I like my thing and, and everything. But you know what I'm saying? Like this this is just material. Look look right now. We in a in a situation that I could give this out. You know, bring me money because. We're in a real situation, but I still love them. This is something like, this is a lifestyle, you know what I'm saying? Whoever like collects sneakers, this is something bigger than, than just a game. For sure, now real quick before we let you go, obviously Easy Money Baby came out uh, a couple months ago, but when can we expect the next project to drop? I, I really like, don't have like like the exact like date, but I wanna, wanna put it out like for, for October to start the, the, the Christmas, you know. So when we get to Christmas, they know Easy Money Baby and they know the other project. So I'm gonna be giving you the name like sooner, but uh, but I, I have it already. And y'all gotta love, y'all love my, my, my new project. I'm, I'm, yo, I'm sure about that. All right, man. I hope you have some American collabs on there. Hopefully, bro, hopefully. I haven't like, like, started like sending the records i want to like have my i have everything from me like all, all the voices from me the vocals and then like started sending from, for the people that i want to i want rappers from from latin america too you know like argentina like chile people from from the art i want in my my project so let's see how how it goes but definitely I gotta have like some some people from the state, you know, from the hip hop, real hip hop. And before the album, can we expect you to drop some singles? Of course, yeah, yeah. We we gonna we we working on that, you know. I got I got big records with with big people, so in in these days, they're it gonna start drop them them collapse. So with all with videos and all, so people people are gonna enjoy. So everybody watching this, all my Latin people, or my Dominicans in in New York. And thank you for, for the love. You know what I'm saying? Word. Mike Towers, thank you so much, bro. I appreciate you taking the time. Hey, Bobby. Nice, Bobby. Thank you for everything, bro.